Hey there. Today, I wanted to talk about the only four things that you need to create your successful business. This means attracting the clients that you love and how to have the confidence and a business that supports that confidence inside of you. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal branding strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you transform your uh, expertise and life experience into a brand story that connects and sells. And today, I really wanted to bring this up because uh, this has really been an issue. Wait, I'm just going to raise my camera for a second. This has really been an issue that I've been seeing a lot of business owners suffering with. And what's happening is that um, the, the system or the model of being an online entrepreneur has been outdated. You know, I spoke about this yesterday, that technology is moving at a, such a fast pace that things like that worked before that were like build your list and, uh, you know, do your social media and all of that, all of that is works, but it's not working to translate your value. And so what I see happening is that there's many people that maybe you have like a corporate background or you have um, a strong expertise, like you went to uh, health coaching school or you have a psychology degree. And so when you go and you try to launch a business, you do like a B school or something that teaches you that you have to have all of these different pieces in order to create success. And instead of focusing on what your real value is, which is what you do in your business, I believe that what I'm seeing is that many people, and I fell into this too, so I'm not, I'm not calling the kettle black, but um, what I'm seeing is that so many people who are of this high value, so it's not like, you know, you said, I'm going to have a business, and then you <laughs> went and started a business. Like, you actually, like, have a knowledge around a subject. And you actually want to help people. And so you end up uh, learning this kind of outdated system and trying to to create your success from that. So what ends up happening is that, you know, uh, the... I I made a million dollars yesterday. Come get my exact steps. I'm sure you've seen five million of those things. And I bet you, you've downloaded and clicked all of them. And... I don't know if you have this same experience, but everything that those, you know, those uh, 20, 50, 100 page books and, uh, you know, everything is like the repeated information going over and over, just said in different words and being taught by somebody else. And so you, you go and you search for another solution and then there's all these new apps that are coming out and oh my God, you know. What ends up happening is this confusion around what actually creates your success and confusion and lack of clarity causes um, lack of seeing your value. You know, I know for me, you know, I spent, I, I have 28 years of business market experience. 25 of them were as a high level marketing director for international retailers, shopping centers, were day of drive. And when I started my business, and when you start anything new, it's, it's new. And so you don't feel as confident. But when I was in my job, I was like sought after. I knew what I was doing. And even though I didn't know who I was on the inside, every time like my sister would, would be like, you know, um, but you're so great. I would say, what I do is really great. I'm really good at my work. You know, now that I've discovered myself, uh, and then when I started my business, I forgot that I was really good at what I do, which is being a business strategist and creating innovative ideas. And I got caught up in the learning, which I see many people doing. And what ends up happening, if you don't understand your value, is that you don't charge uh, and you don't feel confident charging what you're worth and the actions that you do. You may be like doing your social media, but they're, that's not, you know, people don't hire you to do social media. They don't hire you because they, they like you on Facebook and they don't hire you um, just to show up. Like 
literally, you know, when people talk about it's all mindset, mindset is only half of the, of the picture because then there's the foundational business things that you actually do need to do and the understanding about what actually creates your success. So you can stop following people, including me. And, you know, I don't even think that you probably follow me, but who you should be learning from is not necessarily who you should follow. It just should be, you know, information that you need at the right time. You know, for the first year of my business, I didn't do video. I didn't do webinars. I didn't, like, do all those things. I didn't build my list. And, you know, I was having five-figure months. And then when I fell into Facebook, like, I really started to dive in. I started to feel like, oh, my God, there's something wrong. I don't, I don't do those things. Maybe I should do them. And I lost my confidence. Well, you know, I started to really wake up when I really started to notice all these other people who are high value, who are coming to me and lacking confidence. My clients are amazing. If, if I were to sell and, and teach the work that they have, oh my God, they are, are going to change the world. And it's only you know, doubt that holds people back. So I want to tell you the only four things that then have like more parts to them, but these are really the four things that you need to have a successful business. Number one is, there's two actually, two of, of, one and two are the same word, but they are different things. It's positioning. Number one is positioning. Positioning yourself in your mind about the need that you fill in the marketplace. So this is not I'm a health coach and you know, I help people detox. That's not that's not the need. So, you know, when Steve Jobs created the uh, all his products, the iPhone, he didn't go and say, How can I make a better phone? He said, What is the need out there? Wow, you know, technology's moving at such a fast pace. People need to be on the go with their uh, technology. So there were no iPhones or smartphones before Steve Jobs came along. Hello? <laughs> he saw a need and positioned himself for that need. He created something unique. So you don't have to create the iPhone, but just like how my clients are, you have something totally unique and ingenious inside of you. Hi, Wayne. You have something totally unique and ingenious inside of you. And it's made up of your expertise, you know, whatever your corporate background is, whatever your expertise is, whatever you went to school in, and your life experience. What did you hack? You know, I'm, I'm on a mission to cure my health. So I know so much about holistic health. I know more than my clients, some of them. I mean, I'm actually helping one of my clients with their health. I, I, I'm like an encyclopedia of information about these subjects. Do, do I sell that? No, but that's part of the positioning of my business. And so what is your differentiation that positions you to fill the hole and the need in the marketplace? It should be something unique. This is not I'm a health coach. I want to repeat that again. You do something specific. So even, I'll, leave, I'll say this. Okay, so even my tech guy, he, you know, he, he handles all of my, when I had WordPress, he handled that, you know, when I need like little things. And why I keep going to him, it's not that I don't meet other talented tech people who I like, but first of all, he's like so great. Like literally, if it takes him five minutes, I get a $5 bill. He's he tries to understand me. He spends all this time uh, trying to understand what I'm trying to say. But he doesn't charge me for that. He charges me for a $5 bill. Now, do all people need to do that? No. But that's why I hire him and have him. So, you know, when I say, like, life experience, that's just the person he is. Who are you? What's your positioning? What's your unique thing that you do? The second thing is positioning again. But this is external how do you position yourself in the marketplace to show that you're different? <laughs> how do you show that you're different? 
you know, I show that I'm different. I write these like stories <laughs> and long posts. And every time someone tells me to try to edit it, I can't. That's just not the way I talk. It's not the way I think. And so, you know, maybe a lot of people don't like me, but I get clients because I'm not going for people to like me. I'm going for people that can hear from me and want to learn from me. And then they can like me. What makes you different? Why are you so proud to be you? Why aren't you so proud to be you? The third thing is, is um, the benefit. You know, what do you do? What do you sell? How do you price that? What is the value you, not, you know, the marketplace, but what is the value you have on what it is that you sell? What are your needs? Like, what, are, what sort of um, financial needs do you need? Because, you know, I people do create their magic number, which is not, you know, their million dollars. This is like, what do you need monthly to support yourself so that you don't stress yourself out that I need to make a million dollars this month and then you don't do what you need to do. And the fourth thing is, is your branding. Your branding is not just the image. It's not your profile picture. It's not, it is that. But it's the flow of your entire business. Your image, you know, your confidence. What is that you do? Your social media. Why are you doing social media? Do you need to build a list? Are people buying from your list? Why do you have a Facebook group? Why do you hang out in Facebook groups? Uh, then your branding is also made up of these four parts. Number one, what is the vision that you have? Not just of your, you know, tomorrow. <laughs> What's your vision? Like in 10 years, what do you want to say I'm proud of? What do you want to say you're proud of today? I'm really proud of, um, I'm really proud of the mind that I have built because of my health condition, because I've had to be alone so much, because I spent so much time learning, because I had to, to distract from the pain and the discomfort. Because I had to learn confidence because I have a body that doesn't work. I learned all those things and that's my vision for myself. And I wanna wake up every day excited to be me. And so today I'm wearing like this really cute outfit. I'm wearing like a dress and my, and you know why? Because it makes me happy and I, it made me excited to get dressed up. You know, I, I spent 25 years in the retail industry. What do you expect? What, you know, what, what vision do you have? The second thing is, is you have to have a goal. You know, what is your financial goal? I mean, what is your real financial goal? Not what did XXX make, uh, make that you, you're jealous of and now you want to make. What is your real goal? You know, many of my clients, their real goal is that they want to spend more time with their family. They want freedom from their mind. And they want to spend less time on Facebook. Strategy. Strategies that flow, I was talking about. Why do you build a list? Why are you in Facebook groups? Why are you doing all those things? Why are you following people? Why do you like photos? <laughs> The fourth thing is our tactics. So those are what everyone's teaching. Build a list, you know, do your social media. You need tactics, but you really don't need to be everywhere and you don't need to do it all. And you know, when you, when you find out what works for you, it's the most fulfilling and selfish thing you can do because then you can have your life. And I don't know anybody who has a business just to have a business you have a business to support your life. So, you know, I'm teaching a free class uh, on Friday, and it's going to teach you the six steps to creating your successful business, to attracting your loyal tribe of clients who will then promote you for you. I mean, you still have to do your social media and all of that, and that is a part of it. But these are foundational business things. This is not, you know, I made $5 million off of this. <laughs> it's not that. These are like foundational business things that you need and then actual steps that you can do to walk away with it. You could sign up at 
mymc-webinar.totalgenius.net. There's a link at the bottom of this post. Please share this with anyone that you think wants to have a business that they love, who wants to be confident. And uh, that's it. Come join me at the Genius Collective. I'm, I, I'm not in there a lot. I do encourage you to post um, because, you know, you need to, uh, you do need to, to be some places and it just helps to post and, and be engaged and learn. And so that's it. Um, I'm Shauna Yao and you can find me at totalgenius.net. See you guys later. Bye.